John, there's uh, plenty of tears back mm. there today. I've just been speaking to the Jensen Kendrick and his, his dad was in tears. Your dad's in tears. You were in tears. Mm. Tell us what's going on. Just every emotion you can think of. Well, mainly happy and relief, um, but just just amazing, obviously, to get through. You know what I mean? It's a, such a tough, tough tournament. And then the, the last match is just not very nice at all. Do you know what I mean? It, you, you can't really enjoy it. But um, I just try to stay, you know, focused and as calm as I could through the whole match and just be a bit patient. But when I, you know, got me chances, just try to keep the pace up a little bit because sometimes in the past when the pressure is on, I'll slow down quite a lot and it, it doesn't end up, you know, it doesn't work out very well. So, um, yeah, just just over the moon. It's a really kind of eerie arena and mm. it's so tense, but mm. something cut through the tension in that arena today, which was... <laughs> Massive roar from you. Uh, uh, yeah, just talk us through that because do you know what? It's 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 nice to hear that actually. It, it was nice to hear mm. just how much it, it means to you. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, I don't. It's nothing's you know pre-planned with anything. I like I, you just. I, I would like to have just won and kept quiet. To be fair, because I'm, I'm I want to be respectful of that game that's still on as well. You know what I mean? But you just can't help it. You know, it's like obviously I've been you know on and off the tour a little bit and then I, I was I was a top up last season but you're not really like on the tour so it's been like a tough couple of years since like Covid and stuff and just to you know get back on the tour where I think I belong is just like a massive relief and that's why obviously it came out at the end you know like I've put in a lot of hard work um, with my coach as well John Farnsworth you know what I mean I want to give him a, bit, a shout out and um, my sponsors as well, sticking by us and everything, are huge support. I kind of do it without all them and my family. Um, so, you know, I've got a good team around us. It was just, I had to just try and do it, do it on the table this week, and luckily I have. Your final opponent in the final Q School event, Michael Holt, a lot of people would have seen their name up against his and, and feared the worst and thought, you know what, it's been good, but it's probably not my, not my time. But you, d you didn't think that was well. You, you tell us what, 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 what were you thinking coming into, into the match today overnight? Um, it's a funny one, isn't it? As well, just playing in the morning, you know, it's not been like that, yeah, in the past, yeah, you know, know, just that one game, it just almost adds something else mm, to it. Well, even over the whole three weeks, I haven't had one game in the morning, it's been like afternoons or evenings, but um, you know, it doesn't, doesn't bother me, I'll, I'll get ready the same as usual, whatever time it is. But I mean, the player Michael, you know, he's a, he's a great player, you know. Um, but I've, I've played him quite a lot this season. Um, so, and I've got a lot of experience on the tour playing the top lads, so it doesn't really bother us who I'm playing. I know if I play well, then I'm gonna have a chance of beating anybody. So, you know, it was a little bit strange because a few people saying, God, it's, you're playing Michael again, because I've played, played him th three times in ranking events last season. Mm. Um, but to me, it was just another game I had to get through, you know what I mean? And whatever I had to do, I just tried to stick at it, you know? It shows you how tough this game is because mm. you know there's a real mixed bag of players here okay but the fact that Michael Holt can't get back on the tour mm -hmm. that shows that that well players like yourself are, are, are mean you know yeah I mean I think on paper this has got to be the toughest Q school I think I've ever seen you know mm. with like you see the likes of Holt, Higginson, Giorgio, Mafflin um, you know loads of names you could obviously Fergal got back on but the, you know them were all in the first round and back on in Q school and you just think it's going to be a tough one to get through if you if you you know but I know like I say I've got inner belief that when I'm playing well it, it doesn't really matter you know it's down to me a lot of the time which you know is a good way of thinking um, and I've had some good scalps you know so far on the tour that I can look back on and think well you know I've done it before so why can't I do it again and how are you going to celebrate because I know there's going to be some celebrations um, well I think I'll probably get back and I'll be straight back to daddy duties, you know, changing nappies and stuff. And <laughs> but that'll do me. Like that's just, you know, uh, I've got a young son now and stuff at home and another baby on the way in October. So this is just like, you know, going to be a, a good sort of start to the season. You know, the start of the year. And I've got loads going on back at home, really good. So it's a, you know, good news for me. And like I say, that my family and everyone that supports us. So. Um, but there will be some celebrating, definitely. I uh, maybe a couple of bottles of brown ale or something. <laughs> Lots of fun and joy for you on and off the table, John. I'm sure yeah. in, in in the future. Well done. Thanks very much. Cheers. Well, James, we can see your smile. You should be smiling. That was a uh, an amazing moment for you. You're back on tour. Yeah, um, 
brutal is the word like this event it's hard because obviously if you don't get on there there's a lot of pressure and um you know when you commit your life to it and it's your only chance to get on you know i didn't really want to go and play the q tours after like last year and it's hard to sort of go and play them when you've been on tour for a, for a few years so there's a lot of pressure out there to win i'm just glad i uh, hold myself together yeah. Well, that's it. We, we know that you are a committed snooker player. There's, there's, there's a real mixed bag of players at Q School, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, how have you found it playing against a, a mixed bag of players? Because you have so much experience, well, of even beating the, the top, top players in the game. Yeah, it's, um, it's different. As I say, like, there's a lot of players you don't know, but they're really good players. And, mm. you know, they're playing shots which you're not typically used to playing. Like, if you, when you're playing on tour, you're playing, like, normally routine shots, safety shots, whatever. Um, and you're not playing them and I think when you come to Q School you've sort of got to um, against certain players maybe just use that a tactical experience of getting in that way rather than going for the long balls like I maybe would against you know the better players the top players if you will. Um, Does that really throw you off then when they go for those those sort of odd shots? Yeah Does it's strange throw you off? like I played, I played um, a guy the first round of this event and I was 2-0 down and I, he's, he's got he needed a snooker and he got me in a really good snooker and he's He's potted this pink to get on the black. Like it was such an amazing shot and he got on it like it was over the bag. But then like, you know, then you put then you watch not necessarily him, but you watch someone the same and you'll miss like a black off the spot yeah. and you're thinking, you know, it, it's it's you know, where normally it's the other way round sort of thing. So yeah, it's quite it's quite tricky to get round. Are you dying to get back on tour and be, be playing against the guys that are playing all the right shots? <laughs> I'm not sure now. I'm used to playing the wrong <laughs> ones. Um, yeah. No, um, look, I'm delighted to get through. Um, I just want to say thank you as well to uh, Peter Lyons. He's come down and uh, um, for this event and the last one and supported me through it, which he didn't need to do. And you know, he, he's obviously he's got experience of getting through it himself. So, you know, I'd just like to say uh, thank you to him as well. And just just to, for, for people that haven't necessarily followed you over the last sort of 12 months, what what's the last 12 months Ugh. been like for you? Uh, well, to be honest, I didn't really play, so I was like, I was getting called up to play tournaments, and um, I just hadn't played. I think I played, I played Ronnie in the Welsh Open, and I was, I think I was on in the airport, and he's rang me up, and I was going away on holiday for a few days, and he's like, I can't remember who rang me, but it was like, oh, you're uh, you're in the draw tomorrow, and I was like, what? And then I've had to leave the airport. I've never like, obviously, when you're in departure, I've never didn't even know you could. And then I went down and played it, and then it's just that was just the story of the year. Really, I didn't really prepare until. I played the World Championships. I put in a good few months for that, um, knowing obviously Q School was around the corner. So we could, we could see at the Worlds that you that you had put in a bit of practice as well. You had a, a couple of good results there, didn't you? Yeah, like I, it was hard playing the Q Tour and stuff. It's like I found it a bit strange when you was like picking your waist. Uh, I only pl I played a couple of them, but you like picking the balls out it, it, with your waistcoat on, and it's very odd not having a ref. And but that's I suppose what you've got to do. But I just I didn't handle it very well, so I'm sort of glad to be back on tour where people can uh, you know as a referee. Do you think preparation is really important for you? Do you think you're someone that you, you need to, to prepare well? Is that, is that, is that important? Because we know you've got, there's loads of natural ability in you, obviously, but do you feel like you're doing yourself a disservice when, you, when, you, when you're not putting in those hours? Yeah, like people watch my games sometimes and they'll think, oh, why is he playing so bad? How has he lost this? It's just simply because I've not put the hours in, really. Um, normally, anyway. Um, you know, I've been, uh, when I am putting the hours in and I'm going over to see Chris and my head's in the right space and so on, you know, I start getting a few results and I'm going to, you know, really commit this next two years and hopefully not come back here for <laughs> this again. And Chris is a good guy to have in your corner, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's very knowledgeable. He knows a lot, you know, about the game when something's not right. I've spoke to him over the last couple of days and, you know, it's uh, just a couple of things that have, have, you know, have helped me sort of get through. And, you know, we get on really well. It's just... Uh, just seeing more of him, that's the problem. <laughs> it's always good to set yourself an aim when you, when you take on a new challenge. This time, coming back on tour, what's, what, what, what aims it? What targets have you got? What goals have you got? Um, well, last time I got back on tour, I sort of expected to do a lot better than what I did. And to be honest, maybe I put pressure on myself. Um, I, but to be honest, I also ran into some monster players, like first out the bat. I think I was like Judd three times, Williams, Ronnie. It was everyone like the first year. So like my second year, I'm coming through and it's like, it's hard to, you're having to make up tw two seasons really in one. And um, this year, this time around, I'm just going to make sure I'm, I'm ready for every tournament. I've put the hours in and you know, let's go for the 64 to start off with and then let's see what happens from there, yeah. Well done, James. Thank you, mate. Lucas, many congratulations. How are you feeling? Thank you very much. Yeah, so delighted. It's 
very hard uh, 16, 18 days of playing and uh, yeah, just to do it in the last event is even better because the pressure was so big. So very, very delighted. It's a lot of days that, isn't it? You know, it can build to all sorts of fatigue, uh, fatigue rather, you know, are you amazed that you're still able to sort of hold your cue in a straight line, really? Yeah, actually, like uh, I was, I was playing so much and when you play all the time, then you just stop thinking at some point and that helped me actually and so uh, I knew the pressure was actually in the biggest now but uh, it didn't feel that big like in some other matches mm. so I'm still so happy to get through. Is that the key do you think with snooker it's best just not to think at all maybe? Yeah I mean it's easier said than done but uh, yeah. That's so when, when you're here are you, are you practicing at all or are you just using that, that, that mat, those matches as your practice or are you having a little bit of a hit in between? Um, actually, I just had one day at uh, Victoria's Academy yeah. and went there because I had like two or three days of break in between the events. But uh, yeah, usually I practice more, but I played so much here, so I thought it's better to have a little bit more rest than practice all day because I need that energy in the, in the matches. We're really pleased to see you on tour, you know, because Germany is such a key territory for us and we, we love our fans out there. It's so important for us that that that's a, a country, a, a territory that, that, that builds, you know. Uh, it's so, you know, how, how does it feel for you to represent, to, to represent Germany? Yeah, I'm very proud to you. We all know the German masters and now the European masters is as well in Germany. So yeah, it's a big crowd, many people watch it and uh, yeah, very proud to represent Germany. And individually, I think you're probably quite a confident individual now in terms of your tour experience uh, uh, and you're probably in a place where you, you feel you ought to be on mm -hmm. tour and, and you ought to be, you have a right almost to be a professional snooker player, you, 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 you fit in. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've seen it now in the Q school, it's such an advantage when you have so much experience on mm. the tour. I mean, I had uh, four seasons now on the tour and that was a big advantage of like many other players who don't have that kind of experience. What's, what's been your highlight on tour so far? I would say um, when I beat Mark Selby in the Northern Ireland Open, that was uh, my best match ever. Mm. So that's still like a, a very nice tournament I remember. Yeah. And you know, we when you know I talk to the journalists a lot in the in the press room, and we we've seen flashes of a really really good player in you. What do you think is the, is the key for you to like you say beating Mark Selby? You know what's What's the key for you to do that on a more consistent basis? Being more consistent, yeah, th that's the, the answer. I can't really say w how to get there, more practice, more experience. Um, yeah, just trying to put my practice match in the, on the match, uh, my practice game on the match table. So yeah, that's my goal for the next two seasons. And what happens in the immediate future? You've got a flight booked tonight, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So straight back home, and then what waits? What awaits you back there? Some some rest and recovery, and yeah, exactly. Rest is, uh, yeah, actually, we play an exhibition day after tomorrow with, uh, I think, Mark Selvi and Ken Doherty and Luca Brasel. I'm going to play there, but then uh, I'm gonna have a rest. Yeah, definitely. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Well, enjoy the exhibition, but first of all, make sure you get plenty of rest and recovery. Thank you very much, Jensen. Many, many congratulations. How are you feeling? Bad. Words can't describe it. Over the moon. I've, uh, I've shot myself, to be honest. A lot. You weren't expecting it? Um, you kind of... I was and I wasn't. Um, I gave it absolutely everything in practice coming here. I was playing really, really well. Um, but on the other hand, you've got many, many great players. You've got 40, 50 players here that could get on the tour quite mm. easily and uh, I'm one of the 12 and I can't believe it. It was lovely, our fans won't be able to see it but when you came out from the arena your dad gave you a hug and he was he was really emotional. Yeah, um, in the last frame when it was 3-1 um, Aidan needed snookers and I kept looking up and I, w I was tearing up, I could feel myself tearing mm. up and I could see his head and his hands and it, it means the absolute world for, for me and my dad. And you, you're 100% committed to this game, aren't you? You know, you're not, well, you are now a professional, but, but you know, over the last couple of years, you've been 
committing everything to it. You've been living with your parents, but you've you've not been working. You've been working on your on your on your snooker game. Yeah, so I uh, I left snooker. Uh, sorry, left school. Mm. Um, as soon as I did my GCSEs, but even even at school, I was doing half weeks. Yeah. Uh, finishing early, going snooker. I haven't I haven't had a job. Nothing. I've just dedicated my whole life to the game, and well, finally it's paying off. And, you know, I, I can't thank my mum and dad enough. Since I left school, they've done absolutely everything for me, so I can I can be the best I can. Yeah, they've done you a great favour. But you, you you must have a lot of self belief because a lot of people would think, well, you know what, I'll have a I'll have a you know Plan B or, or whatever to fall back on. But you're you're going, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. And as you've you've proven today, it's, it's probably worthwhile. Actually. Yeah, even at school, a lot of people would say to me, oh, why don't you go down this route? I'll mm. go college, do this, and that. There was absolutely nothing in my mind apart from I won't get on the table, I want to improve and I won't I won't get to the top of the game and What's 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 made you think that snooker is what you want to do? Uh, apart from the fact that you've obviously got, got ability for for the game. What growing up watching it, you know, what what, what is it about snooker that you thought I oh, you know, I quite like that? It's just for me it's an individual sport. So like football and other sports, you know, you've got a team around you, it's not really your fault, whereas I, I'm a big individual so mm. I'll if I do things, I want to do it on my own, and I want mm. to do it as good to, as I can. Um, so snooker, when I, you know, watching people like Ronnie and everyone at the Crucible, it, it gives you an absolute buzz. Even watching it on the tally, so it's an absolute dream since I picked my first queue up to, to play there. And you know, fingers crossed. I can do so it'd be a real buzz for you to go up against one of the, the the top 16 players, one of the top guys. Would you be really relishing that? Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd love absolutely every second, every single second, the walkout. If I miss a black off spot, I miss a black off spot. I can sit there and enjoy it and know that I've worked as hard as I possibly could to get there. And truly, I believe that I can I can beat most of the players on there. You've achieved a dream today. Let's set another dream. Let's pick a venue and a player that you want to play next season on tour or over these next two years. A venue and a player. I'm going to say. I'm going to say the Crucible and uh, I want Trump first round. We hope it happens. Well done, Jensen. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Cheers, mate. Appreciate That's it. great. Good answer. Yeah, that was a good answer. That's great. Trust me, I've had a lot worse talkers than you. Uh, I don't know where that's I great. am, to be honest. No, that's great, mate. Thank yes. you. I'll make sure I walk around the next